645, all week long on the rebound in Troy, we've celebrated women in the workplace. So we've tackled the child care crisis, juggling remote work, employers' roles in reshaping the workplace, and shaking up traditional gender roles. Rounding out our week-long series, 7 Action News reporter Jen Shaw is joining us live with how two women ran successful businesses right out of their homes during COVID and what the future looks like for them. Exciting, Jen. Yeah, absolutely, Alicia. And these two women, their businesses are pretty different. Now, one was already established pre-COVID. The other was able to go from a side gig to a full-time business during the pandemic. But what these two female entrepreneurs have in common is that both of these businesses rely heavily on personal contact. So as you can imagine, they had to get pretty creative. I created um, a private customized video of selections that I would pull out of that collection for them. Self admittedly, Ann Morley is no tech whiz. Like a lot of us, she never anticipated having to conduct day to day business through a screen. She represents a designer line of women's clothes and her clients. They're not your typical online shoppers pre pandemic. I bring a sample set into my home and conduct a trunk show. My clients are the people who want to come and touch and feel the fabrics. So when they couldn't any longer because of COVID, Anne went to work. I also think this little jacket goes great with that skirt. She made her own makeshift tripod and used her iPad to record dozens of videos just like this. I could see you being really pretty in this. Next, Anne had to figure out how to safely get her clients their items. Some people would drive up to my home in their car. They'd pop the trunk open. Other people would say, here's my garage code. And would you just go and hang them in the garage? Other times she'd just leave the clothes on her wreath hook. Technology has been great in many ways during the pandemic. It's allowed people like Anne to keep their businesses going and people like Lachey Hurd, a working mom of two, to take her side gig and turn it into a full time moneymaker. We first introduced you to Lachey last month. Her mobile turned virtual paint and sip business really took off during COVID. She even offers virtual painting classes and take home paint kits for people to follow along. Since then, how has business been? Great. We're getting a billboard this weekend. Sales have picked up. Where's the business coming from? Are you getting calls from schools, from, from businesses, or just personal parties at people's homes? Everywhere. Businesses. Um, people from far out, hours away that watches WXYZ, people locally, like everywhere. In a more corporate setting, Karen Gray, the VP of HR at Matrix Human Services, says technology has also taken something away. They haven't stopped hiring, but virtual onboarding just doesn't feel the same. We've gone that extra mile, and I know other organizations have too, to make them still feel inclusive, even though they have no clue what their office looks like, what the building looks like. Morley says she's had to work a lot harder, but brought in the same in revenue as she did pre-COVID. But it wasn't without trial and error, and for her, that meant hitting record and delete a lot of times. Oh, you have no idea. Yeah. Now, Anne is once again having trunk shows in her home if the client is comfortable. As for Lachey, she's planning to debut that mobile paint and sip bus right here in Detroit later on this summer. And throughout the course of this week on The Rebound Detroit, we featured so many stories of inspiring female entrepreneurs, working moms, and some pretty incredible working dads, too. If you've missed any of them, just head to WXYZ.com. All of the stories will be posted there. We're live this morning. Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. Excellent series, Jen. And thank you for all your hard work on that. It's great to see so many working moms out there doing well.